Hey, happy Friday, Calvary. This is Pastor Chad with your word for the day. And uh, also a reminder that we are praying today at noon until Saturday at noon as a church family. Uh, you can still sign up online or uh, in, for in-person prayer. Or even if you don't sign up, you can just join with us in praying. Uh, pick 15 minutes or more that you, your family, your friends gather together and pray. Uh, our sanctuary at Sweetwater is going to be open from noon Friday to noon Saturday. You can still, even if you didn't sign up, you can come and pray. Uh, we don't want a lot of people in the room, but uh, I'm sure there's room for you to come and just spend a few minutes with God and talking to Him. Again, praying for our congregation, for our community, for our nation, for God to work, heal, bless, and lead. Hey, let me ask you this. We're looking at Psalm 77 uh, today, and, and this is a psalm that means a lot to me in a very personal way. So let me ask you this question. Have you ever been spiritually and emotionally broken? I, I mean, where you're at the place of despair, hopelessness, where you can't sleep, you're just frustrated by life, you're trying to figure out what God is doing, and you're wondering, has God forgotten me? Uh, if you have, you're not alone. Uh, actually, I, I felt that way when I was in seminary. Uh, we had just, uh, I'd only been married a year, and Merle and I had moved far away from home. We didn't have friends, we didn't have a church, we were looking for a church, uh, just started, you know, working at a church. Uh, but we were disconnected, we didn't have any money, uh, we were kind of lonely and lost, and life was frustrating. I just felt like I was, you know, in a fog. And I remember, uh, you know, having insomnia and being out in our little living room, sitting on the couch in the middle of the night, just talking to God, asking him, where are you? What are you doing? You know, why do I feel this way? And, and as I'm praying, I decide I'm going to read some psalms. Because I know the psalms are a collection of songs and prayers and, and testimonies to God. And so I pick up the, the, the Bible, I, I turn to the Psalms, and I start reading through Psalms that I'm not familiar with. And I came across Psalm 77. And, and here is how God spoke to me. Uh, the psalmist says, I cry aloud to God. I cry aloud to God and he will hear me. In the day of my trouble, I seek the Lord. In the night, my hand is stretched out without wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. When I remember God, I moan. When I meditate, my spirit faints. You hold my eyelids open. I'm so troubled, I cannot speak. I consider the days of old, the years long ago. I said, let me remember my song in the night. Let me meditate in my heart. Then my spirit made a diligent search. Will the Lord spurn forever and never again be favorable? Has his steadfast love forever ceased? Are his promises at an end for all time? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his compassion? Wow, that's how I felt at the time. I was asking some of those same questions, and maybe you're asking some of those same questions. Maybe you're crying out at night, and your soul is in anguish, and you're saying, God, what are you doing? Where are you? I don't hear your voice. I don't see what you're doing. Well, God spoke to me in that moment. If you can relate, then let me also share with you the prescription, the, the answer that God gives, the answer that the psalmist says, here's what I'm going to do when I feel this way, because this is so powerful. Just continue on in verse 10. He says, Then I said, I will appeal to this, to the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. I will ponder all of your work and meditate on your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. What God is like our great God? You are the God who works wonders. You have made known your might among the peoples. You, with your arm, redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. He, he said, when I, when I was broken, when spiritually, emotionally I was in despair, I remembered what God had done. I remembered the things that he had done in our people long ago. I remembered what he's done for me. And if you're struggling right now, can I encourage you to remember? Remember how Jesus has changed your life. Remember how he's worked throughout the years. Um, hopefully you can look back and see that and you can remember those moments when God rescued you, when God redeemed you, when God forgave you. And you can celebrate in that. Uh, remember the Bible stories 
That's why we teach them to our kids, but, but go back and remember them. If you don't know them, that's okay. Ask some people to tell you some. But remember the stories of how God's worked in, in other people's lives from long ago, and remember the stories of today. See, here at Calvary, we, we want to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. And, and when he does that, we love to tell the stories of life change. And in fact, if you're struggling and you need to hear some other people's stories of how God rescued them, how God redeemed them, can I encourage you just to go to the link that's in the caption of this video today? And it's going to take you to a part of our Calvary Facebook page where there is a whole bunch of testimonies that you can go and listen to other people tell you about what God has done in their lives. You see, we want to encourage you. Because we know that sometimes all of us get to that place of despair and brokenness, of hopelessness. And I want to encourage you today to do two things. To remember what God has done. And then to praise Him because that's your expression of faith. Because trust me, He's at work in this world and He's at work in your life because He loves you and He's with you. I hope that encourages you today and I hope that at some point along the way we'll join together in prayer in these next 24 hours. God bless.